This is part two of my visit to German supermarket. You can watch the part one here in the link. To recap, in part one, I have showed you the basic products that you need every month with their cost. Besides this, I have also told you some of the tips that you might need when you are in the supermarket here in Germany. Now let's explore the other part of the supermarket. Then here we have some salads and prepacked meal, which is 1.79. Then we have orange juice, which is 1.49 cent. Remind me that I should tell you something about German food. Here you will see people eat a lot of bread food, bread kartoffeln, which is baked potatoes or potato salad, and then black forest as dessert, and for snacks it's pretzel, which I've already told you in my first video. Also at home, they even prepare egg noodles called spetzel. So while you go to supermarket, you will basically find ingredients and items related to these German food. So before I move to the drink section, here we got some frozen desserts. We have ice creams and we can see their prices. At times when you feel lazy, you can also buy fruit packs which has cut fruits inside it. You can make smoothies out of it and you can see the details in the back of the packet, manufacturing date and everything is written in German. So you need to use Google Translate all the time and to my surprise we even have mango. This whole pack, if in case you are homesick, you can buy it and make mango shake. It's around uh, 2 euros. Here you have lot many types of ice creams with cones and stick. After the ice cream, now we even have here some pizza. These all are frozen pizza. It comes in different types of variety. They have really nice chocolate one as well and yeah, do you even have vegetarian variety? Then they even have toner, frozen and small salami. You can see some discount and these all are like frozen pretzel and breads kept here in the cold storage. So yeah, here in the supermarket, we even have clothes and stationary products. So in case if you arrive in Germany, going to the big supermarkets, it's like a one-stop shop. You can get food items. You even have privilege to buy some of the garments and even kitchen household items like pants. So those who don't know, Lidl is a discounted store and this we have a bed sheet. It's uh, 20 euros. I think the quality of the bed sheet was pretty good and it has like chain detailing so that you can just put it inside your mattress and zip it. Here we have the winter men's pajamas, PJs which has a nice fleece inside and it costs around 10 euros we even have socks and it's 5 euros but it has 2 to 3 pairs with it then we have mufflers with uh, some nice cap it's like a pair After garments, I am taking you to the drink section where I will show you the alcoholic and some normal juices as well. So let's go.
Before the drink section, we again have discounted section. Now these are all our drinks we have. It's a really huge assortment. You get champagne, vodka and what not. So here it's vodka. It's cost around 12 euro. Then we have champagne. It's around 18 euros. Then we have Shivas Regal, which 20 euros. These are actually the added costs. If you're not drinking, obviously you will see. One of my tips for you guys is that whenever you are going to the supermarkets, do eat something because if you are starving, you will definitely gonna buy more than it is even required. almost everywhere each city has its own type of beer in my city it's ice bomb and in general we have rattler and pills which is little bitter and stronger beer we even have coca-cola and miranda here This one liter of orange juice can cost you around 1.59 cents. If you buy the bio version, it's expensive. These are the cereals that I like a lot for snackings for morning breakfast. This snack is really popular, it's 39 cents. the end we have chocolates who don't want to treat themselves chocolate every day i cannot live without chocolates and so it was necessary for me to cover it in this vlog this is the fruit jelly that you can munch when you are in germany it's another one of the most popular items here it's called as gummy jellies. Lastly, before I go to billing counter, how can I forget ready to eat noodles? All time student favorite. My last tip to you is that whenever you are going for shopping, don't forget to carry a carry bag with you otherwise you have to purchase a carry bag in the supermarket and it's not free here at the entrance they even have a coffee machine from 10 cents to 1 euros you can just simply put a coin and have a coffee on go so this was the end of my vlog to the supermarket trip hope you guys have liked it and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and in case of any suggestions of many more such videos please do comment down below i will see you in my next video bye take care